Hopesters, it is Friday morning, and Buddy Boy's here. If you watched yesterday's episode, you know he came home from school with a fever. We gotta hope that it subsides today, because uh, we're supposed to do like a date night thing tomorrow, and he can't go to the respite night. You know, it's, a, it's like school rules. Anyway, he's sitting there watching his Daniel Tiger. Casey's already off to work, and Hudson's at uh, Bennett School. It's like 9.30. Uh, Casey let me sleep an extra hour. I'm usually up by eight. I was up last night with Hudson till uh, it was about 2.15 when she finally calmed down a little bit. She, I think she was uncomfortable first and then, like I laid her in her bed and she started screaming and screaming and crying, like really, like angry crying. So I picked her up and held her for a bit. It, it, that happens now and then i mean probably at least one day a week where i go to put her to bed and she cries and cries and cries so i've got to go pick her up and hold her for a while but while i was doing that while i was holding her last night she uh, started to have one of her bigger seizures one that lasts for a while it's like the one where she's pretty scared looking over her when i say scared she appears that way but she she really draws her arm out and kind of like really huffy and puffy and and uh, yeah you can't put her in bed that way so normally I go to bed by 12 30 or 1 each night uh, depending on how awake she is she uh, apparently was fine this morning Casey and Alicia up with her and said she was smiling all morning and everything seemed fine uh, while I was holding her, I mean, she finally, the seizure subsided and it, it, you know, it's like they cluster. It's not like it's a seizure the whole hour, a little bit onset of one and then it goes away and then everything's fine for a minute and then it comes along again, but she's good. She's at school. I am having some coffee here. Casey has a pair of her suit pants that when she was getting her hair done, which I hope she doesn't wear her nice suit pants to get her hair done anymore. <laughs> But it got a little bit of, they got a little bit of hair dye on her pants, which that's not hair dye. That is this spot remover solution along with some hand sanitizer. And I'm going to throw these in the washer on a delicate load and see if it can come out. And if not, then I'll be moving over to some goop. She says, look, the pants are basically ruined. So... You know, try what you can, to, and if you ruin them worse, and no loss. But if you get the stain out, then you've done me a favor. And if you know, if not, then I'll just get some new pants, I suppose. So, uh, fingers crossed. I'm gonna throw these in the wash and see what happens with them. Welcome back to the vlog, hopesters. <sighs> this is a uh, <laughs> happy Friday. Well, Hudson is home over there. In fact, I haven't shown you guys this. I got that at a garage sale for free. <laughs> Stopped at a garage sale and I bought a, it's like a shop vac, that's a different brand, a rigid, like a wet vac, you know, wet dry vac. You know, shop, you know, the one you use in your garage, one for wet stuff and dry stuff. Anyway, point is, I bought it for five bucks, a really big one, and I asked about this. She says, what do you need an IV pole for? And, and I said, well, my daughter's in a wheelchair, and so I could use it for her. And she says, well, you can just have it. She said, I, I had it for my grandkid, and they don't need it anymore. It's not just an IV pole. It collapses down into a, like, I want to say a foot and a half long. And so we can take it with us places. The boy is still feeling a little down today. Monkey. Hey. What? <laughs> He's... <laughs> Still himself in there somewhere, but he's he's sad. Uh, I tried to save Casey's pants today, but I, uh, I I washed them three times and they did not. The spot is not gone. You can still see it. Personally, I'd still wear them myself, but you know that's me. I wear the same shirt for two days in a row. But Casey's in professional settings and so she you know can't have a big spot on her pants all right i gotta switch that load of laundry and then i got all this other laundry out here to fold 
Hudson Ann. <laughs> she's so tired. They said she just was super sleepy for the last part of the day, but that she worked really hard in the morning. Monkey, let's check your temperature again. Come here. Head up. Hey. I don't know, baby, but you're not going to the respite night tomorrow. Not with that. I hope you're better later tonight. Dang. Uh, it, it sucks having a fever. Fevers are fevers. You, you don't feel good when you have a fever. I think I, I think I'd rather have an upset tummy than have a fever. I love you, buddy. The energy is just zapped out of him. Okay, I made some <clears throat> tortilla soup, chicken and tortilla soup. And Casey's home. Dominic's still over there working on a quesadilla. He requested a quesadilla for yeah, dinner sick. tonight, and he's still sick. He's got a hundred and one point six temperature now. Uh, well, we know this anyway, but talking to Casey's mom, who just retired from being a nurse practitioner last month, need to let the temperature stay above 101, by the way, the, <laughs> from my neighbor who works at Boulevard. Uh, temperature needs to stay above 101 for a little while. That way it will burn off, I mean burn off the virus. Just gotta keep monitoring. So, buddy... Are you about done with that quesadilla? You still got half of it left. I'm full. You're full? Mm -hmm. You want me to put it in the fridge for you to eat tomorrow? Mm-hmm. Okay. Normally I make him finish his dinner, but... Can I go see mom? Tonight... Oh, wait. You, you have to finish at least half. Just that one piece right there. Eat that small piece, please. Well, well, well. This one. So I can put the other two in the fridge. Okay. Okay? And yes, you can go see your mommy. <laughs> Yes. I can't have a dessert? No. No sugar when you're sick. So, so I never get to have sugar. Okay. <laughs> Poor guy. In the middle of the day, while his acetaminophen was kicking in from this morning, he was regular, normal temperature, you know, 98.6. And again, just like yesterday's episode, just motor mouth. I was trying to finish. It took me, what should have taken me maybe two hours to finish that episode, like, took me all day. Because, I mean, I spent some time, we spent some time playing together. We played the racing game together. We, we hung out. But it was a whole lot of him interrupting, too. I think that's it for today. Really, totally short vlog. I think I've done, like, 17 minutes and more vlogs for the last few. So this one hopefully is shorter. I have no idea how long it is until I sit down to edit it. But I'm gonna go ahead and shut it down. Again, the, here we are at the end of the episode. Please go to seethesitesfam.com and check out the merch tab. Find yourself an awesome shirt. These shirts are so soft. They're just amazing. Nah, this isn't one of them. I, I do love this shirt, by the way. <laughs> Star Wars fan. Same shirt I wore yesterday. And I have, yeah, it's gross. I haven't taken a shower today, but I haven't left the house either. <laughs> I should, after dinner, I'm going to take a shower. <laughs> anyway, go, go grab yourself one of these shirts, especially our newest one that says, to the world, you may be one person, but to one person, you may be the world. So go be somebody's world, guys. Thanks for watching. Please click the subscribe button. You'll see it right after this. It'll appear like right here in the middle of the screen. And if you want to watch another video, there should be one in one of these corners. Just pick one. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for subscribing. And thank you even more for your wonderful positive comments. I love it. Leave me more. Bye, guys. Bye.